Magic from uh, uh, A7 tried to press Lil Wayne. Remember, he, he, that shit was on TMZ, right? And uh, I kind of like corrected that. And then when Top Dog was doing something, yo, yo, him, whack, that boy Magic was notorious for the press, huh? Yeah, yeah. The Millie video, the Millie video, I I did something, and then that shit happened with you. When the shit happened with you is when the co they actually hey, like, were burning. The shit happened. Hey, the shit happened with Magic that night. What I remember that night? Oh my god! Oh, uh, you talking about when I stuck that whistle down his throat? <laughs> Motherfucker, right? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. what it was, nigga. I wasn't playing shit. That nigga came to the nigga Ray J window and said, "Hey, homie, you owe me five thousand dollars because my homegirl gave your homeboy some head." I said, "Hey, homie, I got the money over here. Come to this side." <laughs> <laughs> hey, that nigga with that Ruger. <laughs> Magic was my little nigga, though. You know, I'm the one that brought Ragic around. To give him the Hawaiian, sir. Yeah, that yeah. nigga there, my nigga. But he was on a mission. Shout out, shout out Hocus. Hocus 4 fifth in the building, right? Oh, no, that's but, my brother. He was, on a, he was on a mission. Because uh, Suge sent him on a mission, right? On exactly. the book shit. He I, just didn't know I was there. Yeah, he, well, you yeah. know, he the one did that mission on my, our boy Detail when, when Ray J had Detail up under him. Yeah. yeah, hey, that those y'all don't know, I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm yeah. you got on. Wait, the oh, detail yeah. was living yeah, with yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, you the one got detail. Wait, wait. On. detailed up producer, the one that did sexy cat eye, who did hits for Beyonce and all kind of other motherfuckers, was homeless in Detroit, sleeping under the motherfucking freeway. Ray J took that nigga from being homeless, flew that nigga to California, wow. gave him a room at his mama house, cleaned him up. Put him in the studio, and that's how he got started. That's so if that would have never happened. Hey, hey, look, they go Ray again. They go Ray again, bro. Yeah, Ray, yeah, Ray did do that. He that's did. what I'm saying. It would be no drunken love without me. <laughs> yeah, if Ray did drunken that's love, you right. I vouched yep. that I was there. This yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Pit Bull down there. Yeah, for sure. Hey Ray, I just I just pulled up one of your secretaries, bro. See if she come up. They go one of your secretaries. You trusted the only secretary your ass trusted, Ray. Young Robin. Not secretary though. <laughs> yeah, nigga, what you mean? Shit, you ran the office, nigga. The fuck? You ran that's back then. You ran the office, nigga. So she said she's the, the office bar. manager, not the secretary. Or whatever the fuck she she ran the whole motherfucking office. I know that whether we was there or not. I asked Robin, and she never told nothing, not even about the parties. <laughs> Trust it. Yeah. I learned so much. Just yeah, it was like being a fly on the wall. I learned so much though. Hey, Tough. We yeah. got Tough Gotti from the Blood House in the building. The Blood House room. Y'all check it oh, out. Oh, yeah. Too. That's the homies. Tough. We're the crazy niggas out. There's so many Tough. rooms on here, bro. That Latin room. I really fuck with their room. I'm going to pull up on their room, bro. I got to go to their room for real. Thank you oh, so much for sharing. They said that they want to do an interview with us uh, in regards to uh, our vision for the podcast. So they want to know when can we come over and. Uh, they do nah, we're gonna let their rooms be one of the rooms. You know, we got Clubhouse gonna be the virtual yeah. audience, so we definitely gonna let their rooms be one of the rooms on on the show. Definitely gonna do that. No, no, Where they want to do an interview. They want to ask questions. They want to do an interview. No, nah, we can do that too. But I'm saying we are gonna cap in with them, include them in the in the whole in the whole run of things. Facts. I got the information, so we will get them on the line. Thank you so much. That's super dope, you guys. We appreciate it. Yo, man, hey, how the boy been in y'all room? What's the what's the dude, the rapper dude? Who? Baby Bash. No. No. Nah. Oh, they talking, I mean, about, they no. talking about Mexican Link. I mean, Cuban Link. No, not Cuban Link. The other rapper dude. The rapper dude who got mad because I wouldn't sign him. What's the nigga name? Oh, nah, hell no. Nah. They talking about uh, Saint. Saint. Uh, Thress. Saint been in y'all room? Nah, he ain't no. been Nah. Oh, see that fake ass shit? See that shit? Like, yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to catch. Hey, Saint, why you ain't been over there to the Latin side, bro? What's, What's up? What's his name? He said he like black Saint. people. Oh, that's.
That's crazy, bro. That's what? crazy. Why they always getting mad because you don't want to sign them? Like, that should be kind of... Hey, I got two Mexicans signed to me. Actually, French Montana just told me going to do a song with them. I yep. call that nigga. Yo, you got to sign that Dominican wife. Huh? Sign that Dominican nigga. <laughs> Hey, hell yeah, I would. That's hey, bro. Y'all fucking music. It's a lot of money over Yo, there. Yo, goddamn bullshit is going crazy worldwide right hey, now. What you mean, oh, hey, bro? Heights, yeah, y'all the crossover. Heights. You guys are the yeah, ones that we look at the crossover with. Well, don't look yeah. no further. Siempre is an artist right there, yo. Is, oh, uh, fuck yeah. Uh, right, go fuck with siempre. Um, is that organic? Is organic, siempre. bro? Like, just go to the yard. It's like an organic platform worldwide. We're everywhere, Dominican. You know, I just I just was in Santo Domingo. Yeah, right? that's so sad. I'm gonna tell you where I went. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you where I went. I left. I drove like two hours. Okay, what's the area where all the baseball academies are at? We got the Dodgers, the Yankees. Like, I guess when they recruit, they send them there because you see all the baseball shit. clinics over there. Yeah. All right, so that's it's a long road. You drive down that road where you pass that shit. And it take you to this cliff with this fucking waterfall where you can get down in the lake down there. We was all down there. Mm-hmm. I stopped in the ghetto. I told dude, yo, stop the fucking the bus because I could tell I was in the middle of the ghetto. I seen all the kids and shit. I like, yo, stop. Let us out. So I got out and they had like a, uh, a stand. Dude was selling all kind of food. So I just went over there and brought out his stand and let all the kids just raid that motherfucker.